Tony Belly won the WBC Cruiserweight Championship with the world against Elunga Makabu and well the first round what I will say is it was a slow start from both guys um, Belly didn't want to take a risk so early on he was trying to use his left hand and find his range but he, he threw very little shots there was a low volume of punches thrown in the first round and the second round and the knockdown well the knockdown that left hand was more or less uh, that was just one I got clipped with. I wouldn't exactly say that he was stunned or hurt from that left hand that he got hit with. I mean, you could see that he wasn't hurt because he was able to basically do a, a back roll, back flip roll, or roll back onto his feet, which obviously shows that he wasn't that stunned but I think he was having a wee bit of trouble just with the traps that Ilungo Macabo was setting Ilungo Macabo was getting into the inside and I think it was just Belly trying to keep him on the outside was the ultimate plan but in the third round they stepped it up at pace and Billy was having more success. He was landing the left hook and he was throwing flurries where Macabu was on the ropes and then he ended it with a flurry of punches and Macabu that was it, Macabu was out cold. Um I took him minute or two to come round again but at least in the end up Tony Belly got the WBC Ch Great Championship I mean he's been through a lot in his career he's had ups and downs in his career and a lot of people doubted him a lot a lot of people said that he'd never be world champion that he'd only be a British level or European level fighter but it's obviously shut all the critics up now and he was a better man so he, and he called out David Hay straight after said that he'd be Fighting at a fight him at Cruiserweight, telling David Hay to come down to Cruiserweight to fight him because that was his natural weight, so to speak, and that could be a possible fight. David Hay said on Instagram that he would, um, he would fight him. I'm not sure about the weight for that fight I'm sure you could maybe meet somewhere in between maybe 207 or something like that David Hay isn't really th that big a heavyweight I know that he's 16 stone now but you have to realise that he does he works hard to put that extra weight on if you look at the Jisora fight and everything you will see his weight it's usually around 15 stone or so and fighting at 14 stone 4 shouldn't be too hard for him I'm sure he's one of these guys with a fast metabolism and so forth so I don't think it would affect him too badly so I would like to see that fight maybe sometime in the future I don't see Tony Bellew winning it by any means but it might still be an interesting fight they used to pre they were previously sparring partners and 
going to be better though. Reckons he got the better of David Hay in them sparring sessions. But we'll find out if they ever fight. I think it's a good fight. But anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.